I'm Lou Stoppard. I'm editor at large of Show Studio, and I cover the menswear shows for Show Studio, which meant that I actually saw this garment in the flesh when it went down the runway. Um, this poncho is part of look 27 out of 30 looks from Craig Green's Spring Summer 18 collection. It was shown at the London menswear shows. Part of the reason that I chose this garment is because I felt that Craig's show was one of the strongest shows of the season. It, re it receives a lot of critical acclaim and I think summed up a lot of contemporary sort of moods and feelings and was an interesting journey for him as a designer. I think the context of the show is really, really important to understand. Craig is a designer that's received a huge amount of acclaim over the course of his, his relatively short career. Um, people making comments that he's, you know, the next Ray Kawakubo, Comte de Garçon, um, incredibly favorable reviews, people talking about outpourings of emotions at his show. This collection is his seventh show out of the MAN program. MAN is an initiative set up by Fashion East, which helps support um, young designers. And I think it's, it's easy to forget sometimes how green Craig is, if you'll pardon the terrible pun. This show I felt was a real, something of a turning point for him and set something of a flexing of muscle, partly because he decided to show away from the typical um, on schedule sort of London venues, which are available to the young designers. And he chose his own venue, which was part of the, under the very sort of imposing but quite dystopian Victorian arches, which were very, very close as it turned out, obviously very upsettingly to the um, to Borough Market, which at the time of the shows was still closed off as a crime scene. I think that was interesting in the context of seeing this show because so much of this show looked at optimism and pessimism. I think that's part of a wider conversation that's going on in London sort of outside of what's happening in political and sort of social events, but partly because of what's going on with the fashion weeks, obviously particularly with the menswear, there's so much focus on the changes on the schedule, Design, big brands are showing their men's and their women's together, and there's questions about whether London menswear will continue because of that, the London menswear shows, partly because brands like Burberry have now sort of decamped off the menswear schedule. So for Cray to do such a sort of bold, strong, colourful show in the wake of all of that, I think was very interesting. There's something that can happen, a sort of lucky um, timing of events, which sometimes occurs. Obviously, when Craig was putting this together, he wouldn't perhaps know, I think, of the sort of the dreadful summer that London had. But sometimes there's something in the air where a collection can just feel so relevant to the, to the moment and, and sort of like a, a two fingers up to the political climbs or something of a sort of a call to action. It's very hard, I think, when fashion can try and get political and respond too much to these issues, obviously, because fashion's all about selling very expensive garments, and it can seem a bit crass for it to try and sort of talk about topics like war or terrorism. And I think what's so interesting about Craig is he so subtly, but so clearly at the same time, manages to address these very big, quite epic themes without ever looking like he's preaching. I think the theme of optimism is particularly interesting when understanding this garment. Obviously, it's very colourful, so it's very immediately visible that there's a sort of vibrancy to it. But Craig talks a lot backstage after the show about how he was exploring utopias and themes of paradise. Um, just speaking of the difficulties that young designers are facing at the moment, largely because of things like Brexit, a lot of designers have gone in the other way and they've done shows which are very pessimistic, quite angry, almost like protest statements. So it's interesting to see someone like Craig go in the other direction. It's a direction that people like Ashish, I think, have also taken which is about something much more uplifting and the role that fashion can play in distracting from, um, from difficulties and offering something of sort of some form of escapism. Um, I think what's, it was a brave thing to do for Craig to do something that is optimistic and about utopias, partly because his shows have in the past felt quite, quite pessimistic um, and definitely very... Um, almost subdued, quite melancholy, and it can give them this sort of epic grandeur and this sense of being, having depth and being very moving. So to do something that is positive can sometimes be, be difficult to sort of maintain that energy. Um, but I'll always remember a, a quote that the late, great Joe Bates said to me as part of an interview with Sibling um, for Show Studios in Fashion Series, which Craig has also taken part in, where he says it doesn't have to be bleak to be deep. And I think that's something that was really relevant to this collection. Just unpicking the themes of, um, of optimism. So a lot of what Craig was looking at was sort of paradise, as I mentioned. 
Um, and he was looking particularly at things like palm trees, like typical understandings and notions of motifs that everyone would associate with paradise. You probably don't see it immediately, but you can actually see, if you look at this ponche, that it's um, parrots, sort of birds of paradise, um, in the motifs done very subtly. So it almost feels like it's... Um, an abstract print, which I think is really exciting and very interesting. And it was quite easy to miss that when it was going down the runway. Part of the reason that I really like this as a garment is because to me, it harks back to some of Craig's earliest work. I was actually at Central St. Martin's with Craig when he was doing his MA under the late great Louise Wilson. And I remember his work going into the, into the graduate show of that year and the MA show, and people were so excited. And already there was such a buzz around him. And his work then was very colorful, very tie-dyed. And I think I, I love this because Craig is actually a master of surface and of colour and of print. And I think sometimes that's been forgotten and people associate him with greys and navies. And to me, this was a bit of a harking back to that. There was also something about the show as a whole which felt very confident in terms of him returning to some of his motifs. There's obviously great controversy around some of the facial sculptures that he's done in the past. Fence Face was a popular one, the Daily Mail newspaper did a piece where I think it was in 2013 where they actually sent one of their reporters around London wearing one of Craig's amazing structures, which he uses in his show. Obviously, Craig you know, wasn't put off by this and he'd included similar structures within this show. There were also motifs that really carried through. I think the circle is a really interesting motif that he uses a lot. He's used it on the sternums of sweaters before and it appeared in this show on the back pockets of jeans. Sarah Moa, in her review for Vogue, talked about, um, about those circles and about the show in general. And she talked and she said the symbolic language he speaks through his clothes has gently pried open a spiritual portal, a ceremonial outlet for touching on emotions and existential. Um, I think I thought the word portal was very interesting in that context, partly because of the references to that to those circles, but also that sense of ceremony. I think you really get that when you look at this garment. There's always a reference to me where I think of religious clothing or uniforms, which are such staples of, of menswear, and I think that was really felt for me with these. This garment, as all, as all of Craig's, is, is as much as it's incredible in terms of the surface, is really interesting when you get up close, particularly these tassel elements that sort of come out of it are actually tunneled sort of and threaded the whole way through, um, which gives it this amazing sort of surface. I think Craig as a designer is really known and associated now with things that appear sort of quilted. Um, and I think that this runs in the same sort of territory as that. It goes back to a lot of what I've said when, when discussing this garment, but one thing that I found so interesting about it is in some ways it's so unexpected. You know, these great birds, these huge flashes of colour, it really did sort of um, raise a smile when it appeared as those run of colourful looks at the end of the show. So in some ways, such a surprise. But then when you consider sort of Craig's path as a designer, it's such a signature, and I think that's what Craig has always done well, that balance between continuation and contrast, between optimism and pessimism, between these epic, quite grand poetic statements and things that essentially are very, very humble and very ordinary and relate to sort of everyday workwear within menswear. And as much as I'm aware that this poncho is probably a showpiece that will be enjoyed in fashion shoots and museums, there was so much in that collection born from exactly the same ethos, these investigations into utopia, paradise, um, happiness, hope, that will go into men's ordinary wardrobes and be lived in and worn every day. Um, and to me, it's just a symbol of, of such a, an important, great talent on the menswear schedule.